Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, mm -mm. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. You thought you were gonna get, you were gonna pay to not participate. <laughs> Troop, are you ready? Yeah. Well. Guys, we're ready. Okay. <laughs> well, our first sketch needs no introduction. Well, I guess it needs a musical uh, introduction. M you, uh, so I just do whatever you tell me the whole show. It's in the script. Okay. Play the song. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. I am the Honorable Archduke Edmund Tinnebarber, Archibald Stoker, Betelgeist, Crimson, Ghidorah Hall, the Ninth. And this is It's All Bend Theater. Tonight in the spirit of the holiday. <clears throat> yes? You were supposed to take me Christmas shopping, Ed. I know that, Matthew, but my unreliable cousin is absent once more, so I have to tell a story for him. But you have to! I don't have a driver's license. And whose fault is that? I'm not the one who had too much hard cider at the Halloween party and got my license suspended. It wasn't my fault. Mm, of course not. If I don't get my son the World War II model tank build he wants, he shall never speak to me again. Don't most 16-year-olds prefer Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, he's a weirdo. But it's not like... <laughs> it's not like your son is much better. I never claimed he was. Okay, are we going or not? After I finish this story... Maybe I should get a better best friend, then? Maybe you should. May I continue now? We'll be quick about it. The shop's closed soon. I will be as quick as the story dictates. Okay, let me tell it. I'm faster. No. It is my duty, and I shall do it. Well, I'm helping. You just bumble on forever if no one pushed you. If you must. <clears throat> As I was saying, I present a heartwarming Christmas tale called Jingle, about a father named Myron who, feeling disconnected from his progeny, attempts to rectify the situation just in time for the holiday. Not a situation I nor anyone I know can relate to, but... There it is. We begin at the home of one Howard Longfellow and his rather tiresome wife, Eliza. Did you get the toy like I asked, Howard? Oh, yeah, yeah. The tiny... yeah, yeah, you're doing it wrong. It's more... Oh, yeah, yeah, the teeny tiny meg ran like a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> The Titan Man. I did, yeah, uh, yeah. Go, go, I've got this. Fine. I said, did you buy the Titan Man? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course I did. Good, because everyone is going to be sold out of them. Sold out? Yeah, it's the hottest toy of the season. I am so glad that you listened to me and did as I asked, even though you usually don't. Uh, of course I did, honey, but I, uh, 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 oh, I need to go, you know, to the store for, for cigarettes. But Howard! You don't smoke. Oh, Jai, ja, ja, it's for my buddy. I, I told him to quit, but he just won't. Uh, pardon me. All right. But just be home in time to help me wrap the present. Jai, oh, ja, ja, I will. Mm. And so Howard Longfellow runs to the toy store, desperately searching for the Titan Man action figure. Oh, come on, come on, there must be one left. Uh, there is not. <laughs> I, to <clears throat> I told you, I got this, Ed. <laughs> I'm not Edmund, I'm Myron. <laughs> Myron Larthagy, <laughs> a down on my luck postal worker who's anxious to secure the Titan Man figure for my child and win his love. Um, uh, ja, me too. Why didn't you buy it sooner? Uh, well, why didn't you? Well, because I'm a lousy father. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm just busy. No, me too. Uh, no, you just said you were lousy. No, well, you are. <laughs> ja? You looking for the Titan Man action figure? Uh, we both are. <laughs> Come with me. You got the cash. We got the doll. Uh, two dolls? Eh, I don't know. We'll see. The two follow the strange fellow, who is dressed as a moral Santa, into an alley where he knocks on a door. Best wood. <sighs> Jingle bells, Batman smells. Oh, that isn't a nice thing to say. <laughs> you may enter. Howard and Myron go into the dank warehouse where they see a crowd of moral Santas in various states of undress, drinking liquor and playing cards. Hey, fellas, I got some loser dads who didn't get the kids the Titan Action Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, have a heart. 
guys. It, it, it's Christmas. You know, th- th- this gentleman said you might have one for purchase. Oh, he ain't no gentleman. Now you take that back. <laughs> Never. But, but yeah, we may have one Titan Man figure. Just one? Just one. I'll give you $50. 50 <laughs> 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 These things retail for forty. Forty dollars for a toy? Oh, that's ridiculous! I, I, I don't understand. They, they they sell for forty, and I offered fifty. That... Yeah, but you didn't figure in my markup. I'll give it to you for say uh, three hundred. Three hundred dollars? No, chocolate kisses. Yes, dollars. Well, that is just absurd. Yeah, you you start the lease. Okay, fine, here's 300 uh, th- Now, wait a second. I didn't say I wouldn't pay it. I... Oh, you snooze, you lose. Well, you both snoozed, and the price just went up 400 Preposterous. Take it or leave it. You guys are nothing but a bunch of sleazy con men in red suits. Hey, hey. What did you call us? You heard me right. Con men. Thieves. Degenerates. That are low lives. Thugs. Criminals. At the North Pole, them are fighting words, partner. Then it's a good thing we are not at the North Pole, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna deck your halls, Bob. Yeah, sock em. Yeah. <laughs> the crowd of mall Santas attack Howard and Myron. They desperately fight their way to the door, barely escaping. Well, thanks. You defended me. Well, Dad's gotta help Dad's, am I right? Yeah. I couldn't find the key to doll. Does that make me a bad father? Look, we get one chance a year to prove we're not screw-ups, and, and what do we do? We, we screw it up. When he was a kid, he thought I was a hero. Look at me now. You're right. And that kid's gonna need some serious therapy, man. Hey, I thought dads gotta help dads. We do, and I'm, I'm helping you by telling you you're a bad dad. Well, that's not so are you. <laughs> Ouch, man, that hurts. I'm, I'm sorry. Perhaps I was a little too harsh. Uh, you think? Look, you're not such a loser. At least you have a job. I got laid off. Oh, no! Yeah, right before Christmas, too. I look, I, I know we just met, but you seem like a good man. Your, your son will understand. Da, da, da. No, he won't. I know what I'm talking about. I, I never forgave my father. I remember one Christmas I wanted this one special toy, but of course, for my old man, Christmas was just another opportunity to let me down. Da, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. My neighbor got the toy, and now he's a billionaire. And me, I'm just a loser with no future. I, I, hey, look, buddy. Hey, there you two are. Us? Yeah, you're Titan Man and Chum, right? Uh, 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 in the parade. Come on, let's get you into costume. Oh, no, I, I, yep, yep, that, that's us. Come on, pal. Oh, okay. <laughs> the nice lady leads them into another warehouse where they are quickly dressed as the superhero and his sidekick. Now you feel ridiculous. Yeah, well, when this parade's over, I'm gonna steal this costume and then we'll see who's a real hero to my son. The, oh, good idea. Though it, it would be better if I had your costume. Well, I, I Come on, just... come on, time to go. <laughs> The two board the parade float and begin going down the street. Ah, this is kind of fun. Yeah, it is. It's nice to have kids actually cheering for us. Oh, it is. At the end of the route, Howard spots his son James in the crowd. Ah, oh, James! James! Oh, Titan Man knows my name? Ah, uh, yes. Titan Man is proud of you, James. Oh, boy! Yeah! Oh, boy! Say the phrase! Say the phrase! Say the phrase! The, the what phrase? It's Titan time, dummy. Don't you even know the catchphrase? No. Ah, it's Titan time, dummy. Wow, he sort of said it. <laughs> Howard steps off the float, which has stopped at the end of the parade approaching his son. My own father's. James, it's me, your father. Whoa, Titan Man's my father? Yes, uh, I'm sorry, James. I, I wanted to get you a Titan Man doll. Action figure! Oh, whatever. I wanted to get you it for Christmas, but I failed. However, I am Titan Man. Is that not cool enough? You didn't give me the action figure? You're the worst dad ever! Oh, wait, now just a minute. There I'll... you go. Your payment as agreed. One Titan Man action figure. Oh, boy, give it! You know what? No. 
You are an ungrateful little bastard, Dar Dar. <laughs> oh, I will take this for your son. Hopefully, he's not such a whiny little bitch. Thanks, man. Merry Christmas. Merry uh, Christmas. I hate you. I want a divorce. Oh, good. I'll take it. <laughs> and that is the story of Jingle. You made me skip over some really good parts, like the radio contest and the ball. Okay, this was the whole story as it was meant to be told. I just cut the fluff. The fluff? You skipped some of the best parts. Just finish this so we can go. Hmm. And that is why I am the master storyteller and you are not patience. Which is the moral of this story? That and kids should be grateful for what they get, the selfish little brats. I have been the Honorable Archduke Edmund Tine Baba Archibald Stoker Battle Guys Crimson Adora Hall the ninth Good night. It's all been done radio hour number four forty. It's all been theater number sixteen. Jingle part of the way. This episode was written by Jerome Wetzel and directed by Chase McCants. It starred Shane Stefanchik as Archduke Edmund and Myron Lethargy, Joe Morales as Matthew and Howard Longfellow, Kristen Green as Eliza Longfellow, Ryan Yohe as Hal, Keith Jackson as Barry, Megan Overholt as Jenny, Ben Neenthal as James Longfellow, and the whole cast as Mall Santas. The episode was hosted by Chase McCants with musical accompaniment by Kristen Green. Our Foley artist was Jerome Wetzel. Our technical director is Shane Stefanchik. Our music director is Kristen Green. Theme songs are composed by Nathan Haley with lyrics by Jerome Wetzel. This podcast was edited by Jerome Wetzel. Check out our website at iabdpresents.com. We want to thank Boxland, our host performance space. Don't forget to support us at patreon.com slash iabd. A mere $5 donation gets you access to past and upcoming raw audio to our monthly shows, as well as exclusive performances, bloopers, and short stories. Have a wonderful day. It's All Been Done presents... Who's Got the Time?